you. Director Haspel, I'd like to stay with you, turn our attention to Russia, since I know you have a lot of experience with that nation. Um, President Putin has publicly stated that they're working on novel nuclear weapon systems like a nuclear-powered cruise missile, hypersonic glide vehicles, and underwater nuclear-powered torpedo. And just last month, he announced Russia's successful test of a hypersonic glide vehicle, which he called a new intercontinental strategic system. Uh, is it the case that some of these systems are being designed to explicitly evade the constraints of the New START Treaty? Uh, Senator, I believe, uh, and, and I can go into more detail uh, this afternoon, and I'm sure General Ashley would like to add, but I believe some of these systems have, in fact, been in development long before New START Treaty. General Ashley, do you have anything to add? Uh, actually, if I could go back real quick to your Huawei, and then I'll, I'll come back to that one. Um, when you look at the technology stuff, and I, I think Huawei and ZT are great examples, but I think the other complexity is the question really is, do you know what's in your phone? Not just is it a Huawei or ZTE phone. Do you know who provided the chips, the software, and everything that goes into your phone? Um, we're tracking everything that, uh, that you just addressed in terms of Putin. I'm not sure if any of that violates uh, the New START Treaty, because right now I know that uh, the Russians are in compliance. And what, New, as you know, New START lays out uh, for, the, uh, for the systems it can deliver. It's about 700. They can have 1,550 in the number of warheads and they can have 800 in the latter category in terms of, of other systems. Um, I'm not aware that this violates, and let me, I'll take that one for a little bit of research as well, okay. and we may be able to get that to you in the uh, closed session this afternoon. Thank you. Director Haspel, one final follow-up question. So even if these systems don't violate the New START Treaty, uh, I believe that both this and the past administration has said that Russia is violating the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, the Open Skies Treaty, the Chemical Weapons Convention, the Biological Weapon Convention, the Vienna Document, and is no longer adhering to the Presidential Nuclear Initiatives. Um, is there any treaty that Russia has with the United States to which they are currently adhering? Well, the Russians obviously would have a different interpretation, but I do believe that you're correct in, in terms of State Department's uh, assessment of Russian compliance with those treaties. Thank you. Uh, 